Hello everyone. This video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 5.2.2.8, Troubleshooting Switch Port Security. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Routing and Switching Essentials Version 6 curriculum. Now, in this particular lab, we've got, uh, this is supposed to be a home setup, right? Where we've got a switch and, um, well, not a home setup, I'm sorry, a office setup where we're bringing a device from home. Um, so the employee who normally uses PC1, right here, okay, brought his laptop from home, disconnected PC1, took the port, the plug out, and connected the laptop to the telecommunication port. So he basically unplugged PC1, plugged up to his home laptop. He was reminded that the security policy that he signed states no personal devices on the work network, so now we must reconnect PC1. So we're going to click here, all right, and click into FA0 on PC1. So we disconnected the home laptop, reconnected PC1. When PC1 was connected, the port status didn't change. It's still red, right? So we want to see how do we view that port status. So if we just do a show run, we could see that FA01 right there, which is connected here, all right? And again, if you want to see it, preferences, always show port labels. All right, we got 01 here. And it's still shut down. If you notice, it says shut down here. Okay. You could also do a show interface and then actually put in FA01. And it'll show you, again, it's administratively down. It's disabled. Okay. So if we do a show run one more time, okay, we see that. It says, which port security command would enable this feature? So if we go into config T, interface FA01, no shut. All right, it will turn our port on. Okay, now we should be able to connect from, and let's fast forward time, we should be able to connect. Now, again, it's because technically, you know, you could have some type of uh, protocol that would turn that port off if a connection was made uh, through another device. Just like we set up in our last lab with, hopefully you've been through that one, 5.2.2.7, configure and switch port, port security where we said it where it only learned about one uh, MAC address, one end device, and then if it tried to learn about another one, it would cut it off if you set the restriction, the violation mode to shut down. We had set it to restrictive in that particular lab, but you could set it to shut down and that would have caused it to disable as well. All right, so that gives us 90 out of 90 in this particular lab. Um, so that's it. It just wanted you to do the no shut command to be able to turn that back on and troubleshoot some of the port security stuff. So again, you could go in there and look at it two different ways, show run or show interface and the interface name.